We're back with the Impossible Battles series, and this is going to be an interesting one, hopefully. So this is a siege defense as the Shimizu against Ikuike, and the submitter, Del, describes it. So he went to good lengths here, which I appreciate. He gave me screenshots of the army composition, and he gave me an outline of the circumstances here. So he says, Cluster fuck of a siege defense. You'll have some tools at your disposal, like Cav, Bo, Slash, Yari Ashigaru, Katana Samurai. The gates are open unfortunately, or fortunately depending how you look at it, and the Ikwiki have amassed two stacks outside the small castle. The campaign isn't really in danger at this stage, but thought I'd send you this your way in case it piqued your interest. Alright, so it did. This is uh, an underdog fight, resisting an onslaught as I would have called it back in the day. Onslaught Siege Defense. Campaign is developed, quite well developed, 60 turns in, and we're fighting in the heart of Japan, right beside Kyoto, just past Kyoto, Owari, I think. And we have four units of Shimizu Katana Samurai. And we're playing on unit sizes other than the maximum. And pretty much all of my videos, I think all of them, I've always had the unit sizes on the high setting, so this is going to be a little bit different. I think the highest is huge, and this is large. I don't think this is normal sizes. So this affects the mechanics a little bit. I'll get into that when the battle begins, but let's just have a breakdown of the armies first of all. So I've got four units of cavalry. Takahisa, who is the... Shimizu Daimyo from the very start, still alive, made all the way to Kyoto, just past Kyoto. Shimizu Tomokata, rank 2. So we have a stand and fight Daimyo, the one we started with, and his son, who's only got Inspire, and two units of light cavalry with experience, four Shimizu Katana Samurais with upgraded attack, a little bit, three of them with upgraded attack. So this one's a little bit inferior. Three elite ones, one inferior one. A unit of bow samurai with some improved accuracy, which is interesting. And one, two, three, four, five Yari Ashigaru. One, two, three, four Bo Ashigaru. They all have experience, and these two have upgraded attack. So we've got a stand and fight general, and a lot of experienced units with upgraded attack. And the retainers, of course. So we have a lot of components here that we can use. And we're up against the Ikuike Daimyo, Shimozuma Jutsu Rai. I don't think I've came across this guy in many of my campaigns. He's made it to rank 4. And he's bringing just under 5k, so just under 5,000 Ikuike are coming at us here. Two rank 4 generals. Fucking hell. And Light Cavalry, Yari Ronin. So the the Ronin are interesting on their own. And the unit scale, the unit sizes, is interesting on its own. But in this battle we're gonna have Ronin on a smaller unit size together. So that combines the reduced unit numbers. So we've got Bo Ronin here with 75 men, that's like monks in my base campaigns. And these guys have improved accuracy and experience as well. So these are pretty much reduced range monks. These are really dangerous bow units. You really have to worry about these in this fight. And there's Lone Swords, Yari Ashigaru spam, really high experience bow Ashigaru with improved accuracy. And then another stack with a general, more light cavalry, Katana Ronin, two units. These guys lose to Katana Samurai in a straight fight, but they have better stats in the melee. I think they have higher mass too. I've made a few observations while preparing for this fight. I've got a good battle plan, we'll see how it goes. And another Yari Ronin, and more Bow Ronin, Lone Swords. This is similar to the first stack, very similar. So we have two really formidable stacks here. Really badly outnumbered, 5 to 2, and they have higher troop quality because they've got 
Everything here is a problem, apart from the Yari Ashigaru, pretty much. Yeah. So this is a challenge. Really need a good battle plan here. We'll see how it goes. I need to be reactive here. Cannot be passive. I need to do as much as possible, make as much happen as possible. Because if we just sit and let the battle happen, we will eventually just get whittled down, attritioned by all these bows. Like 10 units of bow run in there. Yeah. I needed a plan for this and I've got one. This is a decent fort to fight from for this. The water slows them down. My lord, the gates are broken. The damage was not repaired. Yep. Can be good or bad. おぬしらの大名であってよかったと改めて思う。いざ登りを高く掲げ、我らの進軍を敵に知らせるのじゃ。一歩たりとも交代戦争。わしは最後まで戦う。お主らもきっと同じ考えであろう。今日の敵は武士の誇りのかけらもない奴らだ。野心生まれで下げ下がるながら死ぬ。奴らの腐った屍は恥というなの
I'm gonna zoom right in on him. Yeah. Jutsu Rise. So what I'm doing here is trying to pull units in faster. I, f I mess up a little bit here and they get a decent volley with fire arrows. I didn't quite dodge it. And a lot of my horsemen just go up in a big blaze. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you know, I messed up there. I, I took my eye off that to zoom in on the faction leader who I wanted to assassinate. There's only melee Ashigaru down there, I think. There's two Lone Swords there coming from behind. But what I want to do here is take on these three Bow Ronin, take them out of the fight. And I've got a unit of Bow Ashigaru there and loose. So I am reinforcing the Bow Samurai at the front there, which are in a really good position to fire and take fire because they're only one man thick. And they've got a loosed Boashigaru behind them, firing into the same target that they were shooting at. So that is really, that's a really good setup. I think in my first impossible battle I did something similar and it went really well. And what I'm doing here is just rushing as fast as possible. I set up groups so I can micromanage effectively and I'm trying to really, I haven't talked at all about this yet but it's really important. I'm trying to use my cavalry together with all of my katanas outside the fort because I really need to chase down these bows and take them out in the melee. I've got superior katana samurai that can do really well in a prolonged fight. They're not benefiting from the standard fight that's in the middle of the Tenshu, which is really good. That means my bows get better accuracy and they also have higher melee if they climb the walls. So I've got bow Ashigaru there with really high melee attacks so they can really stand their ground and do well if uh, attackers come up the walls. And you can see I did really well here to get these units caught. I caught the bow Ronin with the cavalry and I didn't spread them too thinly and they're going to be re reinforced to take the pressure off by the katanas. So I stopped their bows from firing and then I met them in the melee with the katanas and I'm struggling to fucking deal with this shitty interface. Yeah, I was getting annoyed there. And I've got a general caught there as well, I think that might be the faction leader. And things are looking good on this side, nothing's pushing onto me. But this massive horde, the second army, with the one Amagawa unit as the third banner, is coming in together from that side, so I'm gonna have to really watch that I don't get overwhelmed. I'm firing into them and they're not really firing back at me, and I've met all the bows on this side in the melee. Oh yeah, and these units are coming now. So there's Yari and Lone Swords there. I pr preferably want to catch the Lone Swords with my cavalry and meet all the Yari Ashigaru with my really good Katana Samurai. And I think I did a really good job here of actually pulling that off. Like, I'm really pleased with how this goes. Yeah, and they charge into the back. I got a unit to turn around. I'm stretching my units out, pulling them out of fights that are not very good, bringing them into fights where they're needed. And this unit's chasing and getting shot up by the bows. Everything is just going well right now. It's so easy to have this fight go badly, but I did really well here. And I've got my units loosed. I've got Yarrow Walls and the Gatehouses hiding behind the Gatehouses as cover. That's something that works. The gates are destroyed so they can run through them. And I think a lot of the time they do actually try to do that if certain AI behaviour conditions are met. But in this fight, I don't think that was required. So I've got Yarrow Walls guarding the entry points. I've got the, the walls manned with really high melee attack bows reinforced with Yari Ashigaru. And they're guard modded so they'll stand their ground and keep shooting. And I've chewed up all the bows on that side with the katanas. Like this is really good, I'm so pleased with how this went. I was really intimidated by the initial armor compositions when I first saw this. I was like, god damn that one could be really hard. But I had a... I came across... I basically solved the puzzle and I've got a really good battle plan that I executed really well here. Like I'm even kiting with the cavalry and then the kite turns into chasing down the bows on the other side that are being left to fire with impunity into my Yari walls. You already see that there with the reinforcing bows that have totally fucked up that Yari wall. Yeah, a third of that Yari wall down. But it's alright because they haven't tried to come through the gatehouse so those Yari walls losing their integrity rate like that wasn't really that bad. And I've got two units of cavalry into one bow unit, one unit of cavalry into the other one. And yeah, they are, they are fucked. They, they do quite well in the melee, Bow Ronin, with experience. I think they have higher mass, I'm not sure. I'd need to confirm that. But I think the cavalry there is just about good enough to deal with that, and that was a good move. And I'm keeping my units moving. And yeah, I've really turned us around. Like, it's already looking really good. Daimyo in the centre and standing fight is just buffing the shit out of all my units. It's a perfect configuration. 
they've got they've got walls in front of them and they've got stand and fight coming in from behind them, buffing them up, and they can't break, and the enemies coming at them tired, and it's just it's all really good. I really like it. And cavalry have emerged victorious, and I'm bringing them round now to see what chaos I can cause on this flank. Like if I can just pile three cavalry units into the side of a bull Ronin or a bull Ashigaru, that's perfect. And look at how how well I manipulated everything here, it's so good. And I'm sending a unit of depleted katanas into that fight. They can really chew up Bo Ronin and Bo Ashigaru, these katana samurai. <laughs> My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! And there's Takisa. <laughs> he didn't even have to fight. I don't think he got a single kill. He was just sitting there on his chair that he pulled out. Whipped out a fucking deck chair and sat there inspiring the shit out of the whole army. And it worked. Could have brought him down with the rest of the cavalry contingent. But I made it work with the three units. Those units of light cavalry were so important in this. They screened. I mean, they made it much easier for the Katana Samurai. To have a good fight. The way I used the, the cavalry and the katanas together to bring the fight on, really good. I'm really happy about that. And I made the unit sizes work to my favour as well. I stretched out all my katana samurai and got really good charges with them. And I just chained together really good fights. Like, see, with katana samurai, you want to decisively win all of your fights. If a fight mm -hmm. isn't good, don't take it. Just wait for good fights and then commit to them and win them and just chain <laughs> through. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that was really good. I think I made the most of this one. Very happy with it. And all the crap going across the bridge. I could have planted a cavalry unit at the end of the bridge to catch them all. There's a lot of impassable river. You can see the shallows because of the the foam on the water. And at this point I'm just chasing down as much shit as possible. I made the most of groups as well, like I had had my cavalry in a group, my mobile cavalry, and I had all my katanas in a group. And I did really well to issue those orders whenever I really needed them to go out. Like my units were always running towards targets or moving away from threats properly. Did really well here. You can't really fault the way I fought that battle. Like it's so easy to just not do enough and be overwhelmed by bows. If I was to have not been so aggressive, if I if I didn't take the fight on so aggressively, oh, man. <clears throat> we would have been overwhelmed by arrows just flying into the fort and eventually just being attritioned into oblivion. And we would have lost really horribly, but because I took the fight to them and made the most of the katanas, made sure <laughs> they didn't get shot to shit for no oh reason. Oh my god. We had a really good fight. And we won. Every unit survived. Holy fuck. <laughs> Every unit survived. Both generals survived. Daimyo's bodyguard, 100%. Most of the bow samurai left. Annihilated their army. Killed their faction leader. Holy fuck. Tana Samurai carried the day. Sweet. Yep, so... Campaign momentum is preserved and... That was a really important fight to win. That was the faction leader in front of Kyoto to keep up the fight and all units survived, so... Yep, that was definitely a campaign direction altering win right there. Alright, send me more saves, I really like that one and I'll continue to see what I can pull off. Hopefully you're all doing well during these difficult times. See you soon. Thanks to all my patrons for appreciating the videos enough to support the channel. Special thanks to Matteo, Olivetti, Nerdington and the Rody 451 Take a look at my Patreon page if you'd maybe like to chip in, it'll be much appreciated and I'll do my best to reward you with perks.